Hey everyone, so Tim here again. Uh, today I'm kind of bringing you something a little bit out of my comfort zone. So, as you guys know, I'm not a big control player, uh, but I do feel like in this meta we're seeing a lot of like scouts, right? A lot of like Jodel in arms, um, a lot of Nars, right? A lot of decks that rely on them having like a full board or a wide board and rely on their key units to stay alive. So, I think like a full control deck, like the one I'm about to show you right now. Where it's just like full on removal could actually have a position in the meta. Now, this might not be the best version because I am kind of experimenting a little bit with Kaling and Senna uh, to kind of add a little bit more pressure so that the opponent is even more, more unable to like feel the board. Uh, so, this might not be the best version, but it kind of it kind of the same idea, right? You're running PNC and Shadow Isles, where there's going to be Kaling Senna or something like Kendra, you know, Elise or whatever else it is, right? And you're just trying to have so much removal that the opponent is not able to kind of fulfill their board, right? So this deck is like all removal and barely any anything else. Uh, we do play Ferris Finis here because he's able to give us a lot of value because he can create another ruination, another vengeance. Uh, we play three Caitlyn. She can do some good value with her quick attack. And it also means, you know, the, the, the flash bombs in the deck do kind of attack the opponent's unit, making them able to for you to kill it. We do a loop to try to be able to discard some of the big cards that they put in my hand. Uh, Senna gets a lot of value because it turns a lot of our cards into fast speed spells, especially Ruination. And then Ledgers and Karina are kind of like our big finishers, right? Um, and then those are the only units that we have. The rest of our deck is just all removal, right? From Mystic Shot, Battle Feast, Aftershock, Gacha, Triple Gacha, Double Bots. The bots especially so good against like those, sweep, those really swarmy decks. Uh, like Jodeline Arms or uh, Scouts as well in, in certain match in certain scenarios. Uh, Grass with the Undying, Wither and Miss, Well, Triple Vengeance, Two Ruination. Like as you see, we we don't want the opponent to play the game. That's the whole goal. And like I said, like this version is probably not the best, like super controlled version out there, because you probably want to be able to play something like Kendra and the Sentinels package instead. Uh, but I have been having a lot, having having some success on this one on my Smurf in the European account. So you know, maybe when's it working out. So that's the things that you'll see today. We'll be playing our Smurf, um, and then, you know, we can see how it goes. But I, I get really annoyed about those really board heavy sentry decks that is in the meta right now. So like all the Yoruri Narfs and Scouts and, set, and even Pantheon decks. Ruination is so good versus Pantheon decks um, that I wanted to do to do something about it. And this, this ends up being kind of like a good spot for it. Uh, but anyways, hope you enjoy the games and I'll catch you all at the end of the video. So in this matchup, We'll be going up against, let's see, Scout. So, Scout should actually be, do very well versus us because they will be able to Valley. And Valley ends up being really, really bad versus us. To the point where I'm thinking if their loop Traveler is actually a good keep, it might actually be because he can hit the Valley or he can hit like a Citria. We kept the Grass as a way to deal with with the misfortune but it might not be enough kind of like doing the ferrous here i like doing the ferrous ruination is huge i think as long as we keep enough mana for ruination so that's why he needs to be worried about right so ruination is going to be a lot of problem for him i'm going to do the caitlin he obviously is going to be able to kill this for free. But if he attacks with the Misfortune, then we can just block with the Financier. <clears throat> and if he does this, I'm okay with this as well. Uh, we can also summon the second Kaelin here. Start putting a lot of Flash Bombs in his deck. I think the Flash Bombs can do a lot of damage, right? So I think I'm actually okay doing this. Wow. I'm gonna commit the Mystic Shot if he blocks. I'm gonna force him to have the Sharp Sight. He has the Sharp Sight, he has the Sharp Sight. I guess he could also be Ranger's Resolve, it's not. So we get him for free. Still has four in it. We have enough mana to kill her next turn. He might be thinking to just save the Misfortune. Like he might, ooh, no, no Elite. So that tells us not Citria. So making me feel a lot safer about Loop Travelers. The bots is really good here too. Yeah, the bots is going to be really good here. Because we can do this. I think we'll do it now. So that he cannot drag the Caitlyn. 
And here, if he attacks with Queen here, we just block with the Finisir, right? So either he gets... Alright, let's see, you have the Rangers Resolve? Doesn't have it, alright, so he's willing to sacrifice his Caitlyn. I mean, sorry, his, uh... His Queen. Are we willing to sacrifice our Caitlyn right here? I think we are. I think we are. I think the only way that we lose this, especially based on the hand that we have, the only way that we lose this is by him having like a lot of value. I guess he's gonna level misfortune next time no matter what, right? Oh, never mind. Easy. That's what we play for the flash bombs. <laughs> we'll discard it for the mass here, make sure that he cannot hit us. We'll do this. We have the bow piece, or we can just play for the ruination, right? The next turn we have seven plus three ten mana. So if we do this now, we'll tap out. I think we just play for the ruination next. So we also have the vengeance or bow piece. Oh, it didn't hit any of it. It didn't hit any of them. That's unfortunate. That's a little bit unfortunate. I guess we can do the grasp. We can do the grasp, forcing to have like the 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 uh range. Sorry, and then what? So now you only have one unit, Citria. So he gets the Citria. We just bow feast this, and now we just block the Citria. Anytime we can just kill her as well, and we're building up to our ledgers, right? Anytime that we want, we can kill the Citria. We can just pass, let him develop, because we can use more nation, right? We even have enough mana to do the Ferris Finisia and the Ruination. Nation. I think it's just better to just pass. Because he, he's, the, he's the one that's in a timer, right? Like, he's the one that needs to develop, because at any time we can just Ruination Nation and clear his whole board. Yeah, we just do this. I think this is a fine Ruination Nation to do. We can play the Finisia to have a blocker. And he's almost out of value now. We still have Vengeance to deal with the Kami's Fortune. Okay, he's gonna do the Sculpture. He can get another Ruination. I think he's fine, actually. Because with a second Ruination, he's never beating this. He's never beating us, sorry. We'll go ahead and attack. So next time we have two choices. We can do Ledros. I think Ledros, right? Or we can Vengeance, right? Or we can do the second Ruination, too. He pulls here, he's losing here. He could just bend his mystic. We could just bend his mystic. I don't think we need to come on the ruination. Although again, I, th I think if we do ruination, there's no way for him to win, right? Uh that is a little bit annoying. Don't think he's gonna have the rally. I think I don't mind the aloof here. Although we are gonna be taking a lot of damage because of the uh because of the scout. So I think I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to do the vengeance right now. And just summon Ledger's next turn. Let's just not take as much damage as we can. The spacey sketchy just dies to the Finisir anyways. So the, the very most that he can do is just 4 damage to us. Right? And then next time we summon Ledger's. He doesn't have a fearsome blocker. So he needs to sacrifice whatever fearsome blocker he might get. And then next turn if, after that if he develops we can just do Ruination. So now he needs to either summon a fearsome blocker or summon the sharp side, otherwise he loses the game because of the ledgers. And again, next time we just have ruination to do whatever we want to. Okay, he ended up getting his fearsome blocker. We'll go ahead and attack. Just eat up, eat up the blocker right now while we can. Just get that trade. And what? Citria. Okay, Citria is actually pretty big for him. So he needs to get what a rally. But if he gets a rally, he just loses to the ruination. And that's game. So double ruination for the game. Both of them from Ferris Finisir. That's why Finisir is so good. Although we, we main deck two of them. But ruination is so good in the screw meta. Because a lot of a lot of decks are trying to go like super wide with their ball. But yeah, GG's. So in this matchup, we'll be going up against the Swarm deck. So this is the whole the whole reason that we like that we play this deck is to be able to beat this matchup, right? 
So stuff like Ruination can counter like a Yodel in Arms. I think the Vengeance is really good against Tristana. But it might be too expensive. I'm gonna grid this out. I'm gonna grid it out. I'm gonna keep the Ruination. Okay, we have the Grass. So the Grass is a better way to kill Tristana. They have Battle Piece to deal with like stuff like Teemo. This also can target the Nar. Because the two things you have to worry about are Tristana and Grandfather Faye. And he gets the Grandfather Faye, making this a little bit awkward. He gets the Gleaming Lantern as well. I think we just Aftershock this right now. So that he doesn't get any value from this. Also, it's better to do it now before he gets before he gets uh, mana for sharp side. Then we play Caitlyn. He shouldn't have a good blocker for Caitlyn here. And then we also have Senna now next turn. Although, you know, with five Senna, with three Senna's in our hand, we also have access to Dawning Shadow, which is going to be huge. And also get access to fast, to fast speed radiation. Now, he could just Buster Shot this, but it's going to cost him four mana, which is, might, be, might be what he's worrying about. Oh, he's gonna just sharp sight this right now. I'll be okay with this sharp sight. I think I am, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the battle piece actually, so we can save our Caitlyn. Kill this, and now he doesn't have a way to buff the Hungry Alka. So I think the battle piece was definitely better. Of course, he just gets a second Grandfather Fade though. So that effort did not matter. Still have Graphs here. Oh, we also have Withering Miss. I think that's huge. I think Miss is gonna be huge. Because he can put a lot of value. Fortunately, not against this little guys. Not against him, her, fortunately. We'll do the Senna. We'll sacrifice the Kaling into one of the Hungry Alcats. And we'll just do this. I think the Hungry Alcats are more dangerous than anything else because they do have. The Hungry Alcats do have a uh, spell shield, right? So they will be born, they will be able to stop our spells. Oh. I was gonna do this and that, but now I feel like I should just I think I think we still do it. I think we still do it. We still do the darkness on the grandfather Faye. Get another darkness in our hand. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. I mean if you wanna kill this, that's okay. We got a second Senna. This is gonna hurt though. Need to kill this now before he gets before he gets to buff this guy up. We have gra we have uh, the grass and then dying and bio feast to deal with these other units. So the way that this deck wins is by like buffing other units a lot, right? I guess he could have Jordan in arms now, but again because we have. We could just prep a nice box. How do I, how much do I like that? I like the box prep. Because this is what he's gonna have to do. I'm gonna let him go all out. I'm gonna let him go all out. Um He's gonna do the Alcat. He doesn't do the Alcat, I just do the box. Okay, now he does the Alcat. So now we do this. We kill his whole board and have a blocker for the telescope. And this is like this is where the opponent just surrenders, right? Um, I guess we can block the mushroom rim. Ah, uh, we can take the five damage. I think at this point it's more important to keep his board clear. And again, we have another Senna here. So now Senna gives us access to like stuff at fast speed that he didn't have that, that we didn't have before. Face Proud. So that's what he got last time from Face Proud. Maybe we don't even attack. So we can just kill anything that he summons for two mana. Or even doing the withering miss. But we technically don't need to do anything right now. But we technically don't need to do anything right now. Oh, he's okay. He's gonna just do it that way. All right, I'll do the finish here then. 
Get the Vengeance. I think the Vengeance is important. It's gonna rally right here. Alright, I respect it. I don't think the rally is gonna get you much, but I respect it. I think we're okay blocking everything. And then what? We have grass here. <sighs> Poor dude. Um, two ways to do this. We can do grass, grasp. We can just do the ruination of fast speed. We can do withering mist and darkness. Grass, grasp loses to like ranges resolve. I think we just ruination, right? This place around everything that he could have. He doesn't have a board to do rally with. And then we just summon the last Senate next turn. <laughs> That's the flash bombs. Triple set in hand. Yeah. I'm sorry, my dude. And now we also have the bots. Yeah, sorry, my dude. I know it's not fair. It's not fair. They have all the removal. Like this whole, the whole, my whole purpose of my deck is to be able to beat this deck. Beat any deck like this that goes like super fast. Sorry, like not super fast, but has like a lot of value. Honestly, I think we just kill this before she gets the impacts. Although we do have the bots to kill if he's able to develop anything else, but I think I'm just gonna play safe and just kill the standard right on the spot. Here we just do ledgers and we just win the game, right? And that should be game. Stun. Okay, so that's what he got from Telescope. So he was trying to go for like a stun play last turn, I guess. Oh, my bombs are gone. There we go. Yeah, we kind of... Like, that, that deck relies on like a big board for drilling arms or rallies. So our deck is just able to shut them down like super easily. But yeah, just So in this matchup, we'll be going up against Draven Rumble. Um, the Mystic Shots are going to be huge versus their fearsome unit. The bots can also be very good. Uh, we didn't get the Mystic Shot though. I do kind of like the Kaelin to put some pressure. I like the Balfis because he can hit the Boom Baboon. The Darkness from Senna can also be good because he can also hit their Fearsome and also remove the Spell Shield for free. I guess not for free, right? Because the Darkness is going to cost me 3 mana every time. Ah. I hate when I get Gacha this early. Like, that would be so good next net, net, turn, right? I guess we can just play it and have Battle Feast as well. Yeah, like we can just kill the Ballistic Bot here. Which I think might be worth it. I guess if this is a uh, Draven, maybe we do, maybe we cannot do it. Okay, so we can just do Kaelin here, and we can just power face this guy. I think it's fine. Sure. I like attacking with everything. I mean, if he, if he, if he, if he blocks with the ballistic bot, then he's dying, he's dying to a mystic shot, and we got it. He should know that we play mystic, so I'm surprised that he's doing this. I think it's always worth it to do the mystic shot on the ballistic bot. The problem is a rumble, right? Yeah, so rumble becomes really annoying. Um... What if we're actually supposed to do this? What if we're actually supposed to kill the Rumble with the Gacha plus the Mystic Shot next turn? We are going to take 3 damage from this guy, obviously. He's going to try to pull with the Chumpers. Oh, we can just kill it with double Mystic now. Yeah, so we are going to take a lot of damage from, from, uh, in the ballistic bot, especially because it can do the fearsome riders, so this is very bad for us, huh? So maybe we need to actually let 
Maybe we need to actually let the Rumble hit us. So I don't think we can afford to kill the Rumble here. I think we just have to go here. Here. Go down to 7. We put a little bit more Flash Bombs in his deck. If one of them hit the Rumble, we can do the Gacha. We can also do the Senna Spell next turn. If we need to. Or we could use Vengeance, right? We can just Vengeance now whenever we want to. If he has the Willing Death, am I okay with that? I think I am. I have the Vengeance, right? I think I have the Vengeance, so I'm okay with the Willing Death. Doesn't do it. So we just pass now. Importantly, that takes us to sit right here. That's huge, right? Because now we can kill both of these and while healing up as well. I think I'm gonna block with the. I think I'm gonna block with the Kaelin. We drain two. So now he now he's not gonna be able to kill us. Getting that was huge. Getting this was huge. Even if he has will and death, which will potentially level up the rumble, we have ways to kill the rumble. And he, he can see it in our hand as well. Because he knows we have the darkness, right? Decided to go like this. Um I think it's fine to let the Kaelin die. I think it's fine. I don't want to tap out of an answer to a, to a willing death. So if he wants to do this, I'm okay with that. Unfortunately, he doesn't have any units in his board right now. And we still die to like triple get excited. But anything that he summons is going to potentially die, right? We have vengeance to be able to... And we have a way to ping, right? Yeah. Unfortunately, that is not going to happen like that. We'll do this. He needs to have just burn. He needs to have just burn and hope that we don't draw any of our heal. Grass, well, or even battle feast are six pieces of heal and, and a second withering miss. Whatever he summons might potentially die to the flash bomb, so that's what he's thinking right now. He can just do this, right? I don't think I need to do anything. Especially because we have a Senna spell and we also have a Vengeance. We could have leveled up the Senna though. We could have leveled up the Senna. Probably it was better to level up the Senna. Because now he could go wide enough, right? He could go super wide to potentially kill us. If we just level up Senna right now, I guess we would have needed to have enough mana to be able to. But everything gets reduced by one because Senna would have been leveled up. So a third rumble wouldn't have killed us. Yeah, because see, now he can go wide. We do have Senna Spell, which is pretty nice. Allows us to kill while also while also reducing the to, the cost of everything here. Sorry, while we're reducing the attack of everything. He's just trying to push on damage. So at least this reduces the attack of everything. And we still have a gacha as well as a backup. If he tries to buff one of these guys, like this. So he did have the last rumble. So which one is more which one is more damage here? Because this has the impact, this has that one. I guess it's the same, right? Like whether we do it this or we do it like this, it's always the same. I guess we get rid of this one because this one has the actual impact on it. Like he has the impact granted. He's onto just a single card. Say next level dub. And if we just open attack. Probably better to do the ledgers, right? I think open attack is a little bit trolly. We just do the ledgers, he needs to have a fearsome blocker. Or we just open attack. So now we just open attack. So we just open attack. He goes on to one and ledgers will kill him. Because when, when when the opponent has one HP, 
Ledgers would do exactly enough. Ledgers would do exactly that one point of damage, right? So we just do this and finish the game. Yeah, the ledger's damage rounds up, so the point five is gonna end up going to one instead. But yeah, there we go. GG's. So in this matchup, we'll be going up against Galio Soraka. So unfortunately for the opponent, we do play we do play Aftershock, being able to get rid of the of his uh, landmark. And we also play Ruination, which Ruination tends to be super huge versus that. We even got the Aftershock. So Ruination is huge because the way that Soraka decks win is by being able to have a pretty big board. And they're not able to really protect against Ruination. We have a way to discard the Gavio. They usually don't play anything that's more expensive than that. So here we can even we can even do that. We can even deal with the Galio. I think it has to be the Kaelin. I, I, I like I like the Kaelin next turn. I really like the Kaelin next turn. I guess if he does the Brawl win here, and he has Shiloh Duran, the Kaelin will get punished next turn. So, we do have to be careful about that. And he does have the Brawl win, unfortunately, for us. So now we just need to play around the Shield of the Run. We are taking 5 damage here, which is pretty huge, too. Because this deck, unlike the regular, like, TK Raka deck, can't put a lot of pressure. Okay, so that's better now. So we, we can beat a Shield of the Run, right? So we can build the Shield of the Run because we have the Gacha in our hand. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to attack. He can never tap out of a way to save the Brawl win. So if he taps out of 3 mana, he's just going to lose that card for free. If he tries to block and do Shiro Duran, he still loses it for free. And again, as long as... Oh. Oh. Oh, just hush? Okay. Let's just do this then. It's worth it to just do this on the Shiro Duran. It's a hundred percent worth it because that Shiloh Duran, that sorry, that that broad win is how they win the game. Without broad win, I don't see how their opponent's gonna win. We have the landmark for the Star Spring, which doesn't look like he has it. Uh, the product gate is a little bit annoying, but it's not the end of the world. Tiana, was that was that a main deck, Tiana? Wait, what? What the heck am I playing against, guys? So here we're gonna open attack. Let's get the let's get the things on the deck if we can. He tries to heal the petri the petri side hound. Then we might just commit. We might just commit for the ruination next turn then. So the fact that he did this makes me want to commit for the ruination next turn. So what we're going to do is that we're still going to summon Caitlyn. Because we need a blocker. We need a blocker because this is going to hit us for 5 if they open attack. It's going to be 8, right? So unfortunately we need a blocker. And then this turn now we can just ruination. Because he's looking like he has barely any you any... And there we go. He, he looks like he barely has any units. So I think this is safe. It does suck looks in the Kaelin, don't get me wrong. But I think at this point, losing Kaelin is okay. Come on, get that flashman on you. Okay, so that was like a four. So he doesn't have anything else that's that's four costs or higher. Sorry, that's higher. This that's five or higher. Okay, so he's gonna get the broad win here. So he gets the broad win here because of this. Uh, we're gonna commit the gacha. He could have he could have a way to heal it or save it. 
But then we also have Mystic's next turn, and we also have Wither and Miss. Probably has ways to save it. Single combat. All right. So he's gonna what? Try to kill us then with the sh with the. He's gonna try to kill us with the hound. Yeah, he's gonna try to kill us with the hound. That's only six though. It's not enough. We just do the finish here, and Ledger's is gonna do a lot of damage. And now we have the Dunting Shadow, so we can just straight up kill the hound. If we ever feel threatened by it, we should just kill it now. To be honest, we should just kill it now, just in case that he has like a way to drop. So let's kill it now because that car is a slow car. We just want to kill it right now. We can do Commander Ledger's here because he's a formidable deck. He's very lucky he doesn't have a fearsome blocker. So he's gonna have to take. He's gonna be hit by nine damage here, right? And then when he goes down to nine damage, we just miss each other the, the nexus and we win. Yeah. There's Galio that we just talked about. I guess he could have single combat here, but he potentially doesn't. We can keep this back as a blocker because we don't want to just randomly die to something. He only has two cards, and then he just loses to the Mystic shots now. We probably start with Aftershock. So let's do Aftershock in case that he has Guiding Touch, right? So Aftershock beats one Guiding Touch instead of the Mystic. And Aftershock is slow. So we start with Aftershock first, beat the first uh, Guiding Touch, and then we do Mystic Shots to follow up. So he's going to do the single combat here. So instead of, killing, instead of killing the Ledgers, he decided to just take the damage. So now we can just block the Kali or just win as well. You, can, you saw how, how much Renation stopped him though, right? That's the problem with this type of decks. They're very unit reliant. So, a Ruination just completely com completely ruins their day. That's why I think Ruination is so good in the current era. But yeah, GG's. So in this match, we'll be going up against Lots. Yes. Um, I think it might be a little bit weird. I guess we have ways to remove the units at least. Um. The weird part is going to be if they are able to, like if they are able to do a lot of damage early on, or they able to stabilize. Grabs doesn't seem bad, because Grabs lets me heal as well as kill some of his bigger units. Finisir is pretty good. Senna, mm. Senna can be a little bit awkward, I think, unless we drop like the second Senna. It's also funny, you know what's the... And one thing I never realized is that like Lucian now levels up when any, any Senna dies. Has anybody tried to make like a Senna Lucian deck where you just... I guess you don't want to sacrifice the champion, right? So, doesn't make sense. And Lu Lucian is just too vulnerable, but anyways. So again, this is a, this is a full control deck, so we just have to kind of... I guess, quote unquote, control the opponent as much as we can. Um, the bot is pretty good because the bot can deal with the six cast spell. Uh, we can go this finish here. We still have enough mana to do the bots next turn. Piercing Darkness is good. Piercing Darkness hits the Lutz and also hits the Jace, which I think is going to be important. Because what we, 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 we kind of were lacking in like a great way to move Lutz or Jace, and that gives us that access. Yeah, like we say, if he does the uh, the Sid Scott spell right here, we have the bots to be able to deal with. Okay, this is gonna be the bar this is gonna be the surgeon. Um, into the Kaelin. This is just gonna thermal this. All right, I respect it. I respect it. This is actually really annoying though, because it's getting a lot of value from this. I think we just put this one at 2 HP, and then we can always play Senna. And again, we can always do the Withering... I guess... Because we can use the Senna or do the Withering Miss here. I guess we'll just do this here. Let's just heal up right now. Uh, we have Grass to be able to protect against stuff that he might have next turn. Uh, if he does like a Sharp Side here, it is a little bit annoying, but we can also do the Grass and the Dying on this unit before. I do have to be careful not to die to like for the Masia if he's able to buff too many units, right? And we don't have some of our late game win conditions, so Ledros 
Uh, it's not here yet. But I think that's okay. He's, he's thinking right here to the sharp side. So he's telegraphing the sharp side. So he decides to do the sharp side here. So he's trying to obviously save this so that he can keep going value from the refill one spell mana. The moment that we get Battle Feast, he will get so punished by that. Obviously, we didn't get the Battle Feast, so it doesn't matter. But Battle Feast will have punished that play really, really badly. I think what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to do the Caitlyn. And kind of, whatever he has, he has it. I guess we could always do the Sand as well. Okay, if he's going to do the Shock Blast, see, I think I'm okay with that. I think at this point we're we're, we're kind of ready to start doing the Senna instead, um, because she does gives gives us access to the darkness, which is not bad. Although, okay, now that we got this, maybe it's better to use the defense here, keeping our mana to still do the bots. It's tough to think. It's, it's tough to decide what's better here. Good awakening, I think, is really is better because good awakening gives us three blockers. So it's a little bit better than the rest of the other options. So as long as we keep four mana, we're okay. We'll go ahead and kill this guy. Probably has uh, a six cost spells. There's seven more units. So so I have to always keep four mana, especially because he kind of he put it on the stack to begin with. And he's kind of running low on units now, right? So, like, his only out is being able to, like... Yeah, there you go, the assembly line. That's what I was trying to think of. So here, we're able to hit all three of them. While killing two of them at the same time. We have an option here. Obviously, he can just do it for the Masia, so I think it's better for us not to. Okay, we finally got the Battle Fish. So the battle piece can punish her for the Masia here. The Bajan Surgeon staying alive is not a big of a deal. I think obviously the, the first chief is the one that's really annoying. So by him doing this, he's telling me I'm gonna do for the Masia, right? Battle feast leaves us with five mana, so we could do and uh, we could do grass plus battle feast. There it is. So we'll do this. We'll do this. And call it a day. <clears throat> and then now we can play Senna. Now we actually have a lot of value that we can do. Might as well not, not give him the free man anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Opponent realizes that he has no way, right? We That's the thing with this control deck. So you're able to remove all their value. That you can just, like, it, it, put it in us when it's already over. We are GG's. So in this matchup, we'll be going up against, ooh, Kindred Alista. So what is this? Is this like a They Who Endure deck or... Travelers is kind of looking kind of nice. Santa is kind of looking nice as well here. I like the Battle Feast. Santa is looking kind of nice. I might need like... No, I think I, I think Santa might be a little bit greedy. Uh, we got her back anyways. I think Santa is greedy. I like their loop because it's like if it's like a They Who Endure, we want to be able to block that. Battle Feast is also pretty good though. Like, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I'm playing against. I think the biggest thing we have to worry about is going to be Kendra, right? So if we can deal with the Kendra, we'll be okay. Okay, so he's setting up for a nice well. Don't think I need to well right here. We could just well right now, actually, to be honest. But we don't need to well anytime soon. We can just well whenever we want. We have the vengeance to be able to deal with the the bots. Wow. Okay. We have the vengeance to deal with almost everything that he might have. This looks like a control deck more than anything else. Like this is just looking like a control de deck. What the heck am I playing against? That could have been the best time that we have for a set for like a well to be honest. Three sets. If I do the sand, I'm just gonna die to like a vengeance, right? I think I'm just gonna do it. I don't have anything else better to do at this moment. 
Like this is now looking like now this is looking at control deck. But why click a list up? I feel like there's other champions that you could play here if you wanted to do this type of play. I want to let him draw, just in case that he has. Uh, like I want to be able to keep my mana. We'll do this. Might as well just target the Kalista for free, get the free value. Three sets. We will have to spend the second one, unfortunately. I guess we can just spend a battle piece here. So we can keep the second darkness. We don't have to spend it right now. We can just battle feast the Kalista. Oh, wait. He doesn't have death mark, so I guess Mass Mother. But you know we have this. So by you doing that, you're committing to a second Elixir of Iron or a Trollshan. You're still only at two, because obviously... If you want to kill the Santa, go ahead. He's going to level her up. And then we can just Vengeance the Kalista next turn. Interesting. We could just well. We could just well too, right? I guess well doesn't actually kill Kalista because the damage gets eaten up by the uh, by the thing that she summons, right? Let me see if I remember that correctly. Like if I well, Kalista does still live. With vengeance, she just dies. I think it's just vengeance here. A little bit unfortunate doing the vengeance on that, but I think it's okay. We can literally just turbo level Santa whenever we want. Problem is that now we tapped out. Now we tapped out of like. Okay, Ruination gives us an out. I said we tapped out of like having an answer against like a big threat that he might have. But Ruination just gave us that out. Three sets. We got another vengeance as well. Shut up when I can't. I don't want to burn. I don't want to burn any car. I don't want to burn any car because I, I I think I need the ledros. I think it's too risky for us to burn the ledros. Grass. Okay, I will have you fine burning the grass. Let's just level up. Let's just level up the center. We have a way to fight against Dehu and Door. We have we have vengeance. So let's just level up the center here. I think I think I'm I'm, I'm done waiting for that well. I also couldn't pass because he means that I burn a card, right? Now everything in my hand gets this card gets this counter by one. Yeah, he finds the vengeance. Uh, that's cool. So this is gonna be a stall game where whoever finds the card that they need, right? Might as well just attack here. Let's he's not gonna block because he wants to keep that guy alive for later. Um Let's just do the darkness here. He knows that we have the darkness in our hand. I think we prefer to keep the mystic shot to potentially go face. Oh my goodness. Okay, so our hand is a little bit too controlling. So this is gonna be a long, long game, guys. Like long, long game. I think I'm gonna let him draw three sits. This gets the card out of my hand and gives us five attackers for next turn. Three sits, 79. Why summon this now, Mass Mother? He just vengeance this, I guess. So that he doesn't have the life steal. We have another vengeance in our hand, anyways. Uh, cool. I guess you get some blockers at least. He's, he's, he's a lot more low in resources than we are. So I'm okay just waiting him out. And that's the that's another vengeance gone. And now here we can do the Wither and Miss. Should we just grasp? 
Graphs, graph sounds fine. I don't think we need to spend the miss. The miss got rid, got rid of a blocker, but I don't think it's needed. Troll sham. And then we missed it. We can just pass. We can always get rid of that spider with a well whenever we want to. There we go. We got one of our champions. I was looking, I was hoping that I get one of my champions. Yeah. I guess it could have ruination though, right? So I need to be careful. Just attack now. No reason to wait it out. This is gonna be a long drag down game for no reason. Like Pretty sure we won already based on our hand because we have another vengeance and we have the face damage. I guess we did just spend that mystic there. We kill the second Kindred whenever we whenever it comes out. Like none of these champions are ever gonna stay in the field, right? Uh -huh. So yeah, our opponent tried, but our control deck just just a little bit more control than there. So I said yeah, GG's. Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed those games. Obviously, it's a control deck, so some of the matchups are going to be a little bit slow. Uh, really, nothing exciting happening. You just have to be very careful when you tap out of certain mana points um, and understanding what the opponent is trying to do to win. If you if you can, if you can understand that, uh, you should be able to control them to death. You know? Um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed those games. Remember, if you're not subscribed yet, to subscribe below. It helps us out a lot as we try to get to a thousand subscribers. We also stream on Twitch at Twitch Terminal, where you can find us uh, where we stream about three to four times a week and you can also find us on our disco group and twitter which you can find in the description below thank you so much for watching again and i'll see you tomorrow